by all the resources and supports and resilience in my life, I would not survive without having access to the sea. And I've felt such joy and gratitude for that. At the same time, this upwelling of such grief and sadness that so many people either had that taken away or don't have it as a way to just to heal. When you're swimming in the sea, number one is the freedom it gives you, the sense of mobility. You go into the sea with a lot of things bothering you, a lot of crap in your head, it's dumped out there. You're not thinking about anything else. It doesn't matter what else is going on in your life. You're just, you're in the sea. It's always somebody that enjoyed the sea. I ended up in a wheelchair 13 years ago when I thought that swimming was finished for me, as was a lot of other things. Fortunately, I got to meet some amazing people that rethought me how to swim and the sea. I never lived really near the sea until about nine years ago we moved to Galway and I remember walking the prom shortly after we moved here and seeing people get in in the middle of winter and just thinking I really want to do that but I didn't know anyone else who did it at the time and I didn't have the nerve to do it by myself. I've always wanted to swim so I said now, now is the time. I want to go and learn. That's when I first came in contact with Ashling and the girls. We love what we do, so we're trying to share that and open that space up to other people. Coaching people how to, to love the water, I guess, really, and doing it in this very safe environment. Guiding them how to, to safely enter the space and respect it, um, respect the people around them and obviously work with the conditions every day. Give them a little toolkit to work with, to use. When I like first came here to Galway, I didn't know anyone, didn't have any connection to place. I was really unsettled. I'd just come back from years of traveling. I had no real connection to home other than it being family. And then I'm in this urban setting, which is kind of alien and unfamiliar. I didn't really find my place here until I started to actually go in the sea. And that was by meeting other women who were also going in the sea. It doesn't matter if you go down on your own, even you just you'll get chatting to the people who are beside you and stuff. It's just there's something about the sea that just brings out the best in everybody. Like they come together as their own community and they feel safer within that that they can share this experience and be in that environment with other people. Everybody will go through life and there will always be hiccups. We call them hiccups, be them a medical hip hiccup or a financial hiccup or something like that. The real challenge is to pick yourself up from that. And if you can do that, you can do anything.